So the question asks, suppose the relevant money demand curve is the one labeled MD sub 1. Also suppose the velocity of money is 4. If the money market is in equilibrium, then the economy's real GDP amounts to... Now you might be tempted right off the bat to go ahead and plug in the values into the velocity formula, which is V is equal to P times Y over M. And it's tempting to do that right away, but I would be cautious because the question is rather deceitful. And the reason for that is we first need to understand what the components of the velocity formula mean. So right here, we have that V represents the velocity of money, P is the price level or the GDP deflator, Y is the quantity of output or the real GDP, and if we multiply P and Y together, we get the nominal output value of output and lastly m is the quantity of money you begin the question by first finding the equilibrium point and figuring out okay i have my quantity of money right there and i have my price level you would be mistaken if you thought this is the price level there's actually this hidden axis right here and this is the price level over here this is the value of money this y-axis is the value of money, and that would be 1 over p. Over here, it's just p. So we're given the velocity of money, so we have v, which is 4. We're trying to find the real GDP, which, if I bring this back up, uh, real GDP is y. So we have our y term, and our price level, not 0.5. It's actually, so if we do 1 over 0.5, we get 2, and this is the price level so we get two and we divide it by the quantity of money right here and if we rearrange and do some algebra to solve for y we get that our answer will be 10,000 which is c